Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maddie and it is my birthday Eve. We're about to have all of my friends over tonight, like my college friends, to celebrate, kind of do like a college party. We have like beer pong and like all the fun things. Snacks, the snacks are a little bit more elevated than they probably would have been in college. I'm really excited. I'm just excited to be surrounded by my friends, like kind of a really chill night. In a pretty simple outfit, I would say. I threw in some fun shoes to kind of spice it up, but it's still a house party and I had like a kind of a funky outfit to wear and then I put it on I'm like okay this is like too much I'm just not the kind to like overdress because it's my birthday if that makes sense anyways you've seen this outfit before this is a redone sweater and it's so cute and then I did my little citizens of humanity jeans I feel like I need to wear these going into my 28th year of life and then little Bottega shoes that I feel like kind of spice it up but this is the look. Let's go around the house and I'll kind of show you what Ronnie did. And then I added a few touches. Just, I can't help myself. Ronnie did all the balloon details. He blew them up and just put them in different parts of the house. It's so cute. You got Ronnie making some drinks over here. And like a little pitcher. This is our favorite margarita. Very excited. Everyone's probably going to dinner before, but I just needed to do some snacks. So I went to Central Market and got like pimento cheese, olives. Like I said, little elevated snacks, you know? Some cheese boards. I. Thought I have like a cheese knife and I need to find it. I don't know where it is. I did some chips. I'm gonna do some salsa in there and then queso. My birthday cake, Susie cakes, the best. It like still blows my mind. I'm gonna be 28. I can't believe it. And then little plates. Ronnie did the sign. So cute. Ronnie, what do you have to say for 28? Big year, big things ahead. Can't wait. Aww. I'm doing the taste test. It's missing something. What is it? Like maybe more tequila. Let me see. It doesn't have the like bite. Yeah, it needs more tequila. Yeah. It is officially my birthday night. We basically just laid in bed for half the day, went on a long walk, and then watched football, and it was absolutely lovely. I wanted a rot day. And last night was so much fun that honestly, it was worth it. Like, it was worth a hangover because I had so much fun with my friends. They're just the most kind and loving and just the best friends I could ever ask for. And I just feel so lucky today. I also feel like turning 28, I know I've been 28 for less than 24 hours, but I feel more confident. I can't explain it, I don't know, I feel good. So I'm really happy. But I also love my outfit. I did not buy any new things for my birthday this year. I'm re-wearing outfits or wearing things that were in my closet. And this dress has been in my closet for a long time. And it's kind of like a special piece. So you can't just wear it whenever. And there's not really a lot of occasions in Dallas to wear this, to be honest. Kind of hard to tell in this lighting. But it's like kind of like a suit almost jacket. And then it's got this cool green belt that kind of really cinches your waist. And then I did a little tennis necklace and kind of loosely curled my hair and then my little stud Wally boots. And I didn't even self tan. I'm gonna take you guys to birthday dinner with me, but I am just so excited. We're waiting for my parents to pick us up. parents house we're about to go to dinner at one of our favorite places I'm so excited so sad my sister's not here but she's with her now fiance and his family in Tulsa but they'll be back tomorrow so I'm really excited but this is what I'm wearing it's super sparkly
you, you want to help him? Play this one. Ah, look at this. <gasps> he wants the green. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Ronnie and I had the just most perfect Christmas morning. Even though we don't have kids, we're trying to create like our own traditions and stuff. So we're not like waiting around to go to our parents' house or all of our traditions are like on our parents. We're trying to create our own, especially before we have kids. We just wanna make sure we have some good traditions lined up. So we baked cookies, Santa always comes for Mac and then we give each other stockings and then do gifts exchange, like just us. And Ronnie made some breakfast. It was just so fun. Like it was. Perfect morning. So now we're heading to his dad's house and then we're gonna eat there and then we're gonna go to my parents' house, open gifts and eat there and his dad will come over that night, like to my parents' house too. I wanted to go super casual, but not like sweats, but still kind of look a little elevated and I feel like I'm giving like bargain Kate the row vibes. <laughs> so my sweater is actually Goodwill. This was in the men's section and it's navy and it is so soft, it's beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. Did like a white t-shirt under, because I just feel like that classes it up. And then these are my fake row gala pants from Zara, and they're really comfortable. They're just kind of like, I don't know the material, but very baggy and comfy, and then my Isabel Morant little sneakers. This is the look we are going for, again, like an elevated bargain Kate the Row vibe, and I'm into it. Ronnie, what are you wearing? New cowboy sweater. Got him this How for about Christmas. Them cowboys? did you know? I am your favorite daughter? That is hilarious. A t-shirt to match? That is so You awesome. did it again, Marty. I am freaking How awesome. How did you know? How did you know? The funny, guys. I love it. You look very cute, Marty. <laughs> I'm like an, a no-camera zoom. Yes. <laughs> He's like, when? You won. That's very cool. <laughs> He didn't like the game. Look at those crocs. He's too tall for this camera lens. Yay! I hope y'all had just like the best holiday season no matter what you celebrate. Our Christmas and my birthday, Ronnie was saying, it was probably one of our best ever. Like it just was so full of family and friends and celebration and everyone was positive and it was just really fun. We played games. We just had a blast together. We still get to celebrate with Ronnie's mom, which I'm so excited about. We usually all cook together and that'll happen next week. And I just can't wait. It just makes me so happy that the holidays aren't like totally over yet. In terms of gifts, I feel very grateful this year. I received a lot of great things. I want to share with you guys some of the unique gifts that I got because I got some like really different gifts. And like I've said before in my newsletter, my mom is a really, really great gift giver and she's always super unique and kind of goes outside of the box and there's always cute ideas. So I wanna show you guys some, just in case you ever have to gift in the future or want something to buy post Christmas. I always love to shop after Christmas. Anyways, let's cut to the gifts. My brother-in-law and his girlfriend, so Ronnie's brother and his girlfriend got me the coolest gift. I was so excited about it. I was not expecting this. I had no idea kind of what it was until they explained it to me. It is a towel warmer. So I put my towels in here and it warms my towels. And honestly, I think I'm gonna do this for all of my clothes. My robe, blankets, like everything you put in here and then it warms them up, which I thought was literally the coolest gift. Something that I love to receive, my family's so good at giving, is like cookbooks. So the first one, this is The Chutney Life by Palak Patel. And it's basically an Indian American cookbook and it has the coolest recipes. We love Indian food. This is for my sister. I am just so excited. And then this is for my mom and my dad. They both grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. And this cookbook is super, super old. And it's a recipe book of all of the best dishes in Omaha at different restaurants. And if you're familiar with Omaha, you know that the food there, amazing. My soon to be brother-in-law, my sister's fiance is an amazing cook. Like every time he cooks for us, it's delicious. And he got us these Kuso seasonings. 
and I love seasonings and so I'm super excited to use these. I'm totally wanting to become a better cook in 2024. This one Ronnie was not excited about but my sister knew I've been wanting a hatch so I got a hatch. Hopefully it's okay. I still need to set it up, but this I'm just beyond thrilled about. I cannot wait. This is from my mom's sister and her whole family. And I just thought it was the cutest idea. So they got us this individual brownie tray, which I thought was such a good idea, especially for people who like crust. These cute little utensils and then a brownie mix. I just thought that was such a cute idea. Bonnie's dad did such a good job. He got me this Lululemon set and then a Lululemon jacket. The nicest gift, and it's so soft, I cannot wait to wear this. His dad's cousin was in town. Ronnie's actually Canadian. They have a house in Perry Sound, which is like two hours north of Toronto, nearish Muskoka, if you're familiar with that. But it's called Perry Sound, and that's where she lives. And she got this cute dish towel, and it's got all of the different like things that make Perry Sound special on it. And I just thought that was so cute. I love dish towels. I'm gonna do one more, but first I wanna explain a little bit of that part where my dad is giving us a gift that he's surprised about. So probably like nine or 10 years ago, we're shopping at Sephora and me and my sister really wanted the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette. And we're like, dad, please let's go get it. And he was like, I'm not getting it for you unless you put it under the tree. So we put it under the tree, put like two dad or two us from dad. And then every single year it's turned into kind of a running joke. We try to get something that's very girly and embarrassing for him to be giving us. One year we did leopard print booties. One year we did the Skims perfume bottle that's like in the shape of her body. Anyway, so this year we thought it would be funny. We really wanted to do a favorite daughter sweatshirt, but they've been sold out everywhere. So we did the favorite daughter hats and we can golf in these too because we're both starting to golf. I need to get back into it. And then my sister wanted this white t-shirt and you can never go wrong with a white t-shirt and it's his favorite daughter on the side and he was dying laughing. He just always, it's his favorite thing. He's always like, girls, what are, what am I getting you this year? What am I getting you this year? So it's really fun. Alrighty, that was a lot. Again, I'm just blown away by how great this Christmas season was. I'm so excited to get back into routine, into the new year though. I love a routine. I have a lot of big plans for myself and my goals and everything this coming year. Maybe I'll touch on that the next week's video. I think next week I'm gonna organize my house and I will share that a little bit. And I have a lot of fun tips and tricks to save a lot of money on organizing. I just hope you guys had the best holiday season and are really excited about the new year. And I hope 2024 brings just all of the best things for you guys. With that, be sure to subscribe. It actually helps me a lot if you subscribe. I know I really didn't know that before I was on YouTube, but it does help me if you subscribe. And then definitely like this video if you liked this video, but I love you guys. Thank you so much. I will see you next week.